Hi, this is Vlad the Virgin. I'm here with HTC's latest Windows phone, the 4.7 inch Titan. HTC is well known for its proclivity to work from boring product names, but in the case of the Titan, the name is more descriptive than aspirational. This truly is a massive smartphone. Not that I'm complaining, most of this phone's physical footprint is taken up by the bright and beautiful Super LCD display. HTC has trimmed the bezel around the screen to a minimum, and a single piece aluminum frame wraps around the sides and back, keeping the device's thickness just below a centimeter. The Titan weighs 160 grams, but it doesn't feel that heavy. The weight is well distributed across the body. The combination of a relatively slender case and a large Super LCD dominating the front lends the Titan a very slick, futuristic appearance. The last time I was so impressed by a large screen handset was when HTC introduced the HD2 running Windows Mobile 6.5. Much like the Titan, it was a device breaking into a new form factor at 4.3 inches and had almost no bezel around the display. Another similarity, albeit a less happy one, between the HD2 and the Titan is in screen resolution. The new 4.7 inch device matches its predecessor by offering only WVGA or 800x480 resolution. That means you see exactly as much content on the Titan as you would on the 3.7 inch radar, HTC's other member of this new Windows Phone lineup. The tiles that make up Microsoft's Windows Phone interface appear comically large on the Titan and you can't help the feeling that the larger screen size is going to waste without a commensurate increase in resolution. Which is a shame since the Titan Super OCD display is truly gorgeous to look at and offers us standing viewing angles. The Titan comes preloaded with a Mango update to Windows Phone, which is branded with the number 7.5, but in real terms is closer to version 2.0. Following the original Windows Phone 7 release last year, which rebooted Microsoft's mobile OS efforts and started from scratch. It adds a new visual multitasking overview, mobile hotspot functionality, full Twitter integration, threaded email support, messaging threads, and a number of enhancements to the built-in Bing search engine. Although it runs a faster and newer 1.5 GHz processor, the Titan isn't noticeably quicker in operation than HTC's trophy from last year. This is because Windows Phone's interface has been extremely responsive from the start, leaving the benefits of the Titan's upgraded processor to be felt elsewhere. One such area is in battery life. The new MSM8255 Snapdragon is much more efficient than the previous generation and allows the Titan to last for a full 24 hours between recharges. The Titan is an impressively well-built, handsome device with a gorgeous screen that could do with adding a few more pixels. The user experience is indistinguishable from other Windows phones running the Mango update, so your list of alternatives isn't short. You can try out the radar if you're after more compact dimensions, or consider Samsung's upcoming Focus S and Focus Flash handsets. They, along with the Titan, will be coming to AT&T in the fourth quarter of this year. For an Android alternative, check out HTC Sensation XL. It has the exact same spec sheet as the Titan, just adds a little more RAM, and runs HTC's latest Sense 3.5 on top of Android 2.3.